I think while we are there, it's also important that um, you people walking so that Wangare can get medical attention is a big statement about our big four. That healthcare is a major issue when it comes to the well-being of society. And the reason why you're walking is because many a times healthcare is beyond the means of many families. And therefore it becomes important that government thinks about it and fashions a mechanism that enables the majority, if not all, to afford medical attention and to afford health. And therefore, a situation like this, in a moment like this, it takes us back to our program on universal health care under the Big Four program. That indeed, there is a need, there is a gap in matters to do with health care in our republic that needs to be addressed. And that we must progress continuously until we get a health insurance cover that will cover the majority of Kenyans, including the vulnerable. We really appreciate uh, that you have come to our rescue. Uh, the group you are seeing here, we have come, we have worked all day from Yeri. Uh, we have a, a campaign, we are calling it, we are dubbed Health Wangari Walk Again. Wangari was a student at uh, Jaikwat, Mombasa campus. She was uh, studying, uh, taking a course, logistics and uh, construction management. She was at that year, that was back 2017 when the accident happened. It was unfortunate that since then she has never been able to go back to class. It was a, in Mobasa, a hit and run uh, vehicle uh, did uh, cause the accident. And uh, she has been receiving medication, but unfortunately uh, she has never been able to, to recover. And uh, when the family was unable to raise more funds to sustain her in hospital, they took her home since no, uh, November 2018 up to uh, this month, just 19, she has been at home and uh, her leg was almost composing. That when ourselves as friends, we are all university students from Yale County, we organized ourselves to say that we are going to ensure that we rescue one of us. And that's when we started the campaign to raise the funds for her. And we have worked all the way from Yeri. By the time we were at Thika, we had raised 817,000. <laughs> and uh, we found fit. Instead of having the money banked at the, at the bank, and she was at home suffering the pain, we found it wise and act, act, act with uh, humanity that we have had uh, airlift her to India. Uh, she started medication as we continue working to raise the rest of the funds. And successfully, we did airlift her on date 19th. And uh, we had her fly to India, where she, she's having her medication being done. But unfortunately, uh, you look at these, these are your fellow hustlers. <laughs> Without shame, we are going to borrow on her behalf, and successfully we have done that. We have raised uh, the money, and now she is in India, and uh, she is very grateful. Allow you to go back to school. So that's <laughs>